Sales of Polish-made Pyron Man portable air defense systems have skyrocketed after an impressive performance on the Ukrainian battlefield. The Norwegian army will soon be equipped with Polish ManPads systems. The agreement between the Norwegian Ministry of Defense and the manufacturer Mesco SA was signed on November 29, 2022 in Oslo. Details of the deal were not disclosed, they only mentioned that Norway would buy several hundred missiles and the launch systems. Norway is not the first country to buy manpads from Poland, previous customers are the US and Estonia. The Pyron Man portable air defense missile has been actively used by the Ukrainian armed forces against the Russian army since the outbreak of the conflict on February 24, 2022. Evaluations over the past nine months, on the quality of Polish-made missile systems have been proven. There are even sources that at the beginning of April 2022, it was Pyron Man pads that shot down the first Su-35 fighter of the Russian Air Force. According to Ukrainian sources, the Su-35 made a mistake when flying at low altitude, and was within range of manned portable air defense systems. Although there is no concrete evidence that Pyron shot down the Russian Su-35 fighter, there are actually dozens of videos showing the Polish man pads system successfully dealing with low-flying objects. The Pyron system first entered service with the Polish army in 2019, which means it is a new generation mobile missile system. Three years ago, the ManPads Pyron went into mass production. The entire missile system weighs more than 16 kilograms, designed for neutralizing helicopters, fixed-wing assets, UAVs, and cruise missiles. The missile features a proximity fuse that makes it possible to hit the target in the event of a near miss. Pyron can be used against air threats at a distance ranging from 400 meters, up to 6.5 kilometers, flying at altitudes ranging from 10 meters to 4 kilometers. The system is designed to be operated by one soldier. It consists of a single-stage projectile, a single-use tubular launcher, a starting mechanism, and an on-ground power supply. One of the main features of the new Pyron, there is a mini keyboard on the right side of the trigger module, which can be used to select types of targets, environments, and work modes. There is also a day or night optical sight, mounted on the tube launcher. New rocket missiles, warheads, tracking and control systems, sights, power supply, etc., allow significant expansion of the hitting zone against a whole range of air attack systems. The experiences gathered in Ukraine do confirm the combat capabilities of this system. <laughs>